Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be talking about those little crawly dudes that you find on the side of the caves. Yeah, that's right, the ones that freak you out every single time you go underneath them and you don't even see them. They pounce down on you, they give you rabies, and all sorts of bad things happen from then. Yeah, you know exactly what ones I'm talking about. We're talking about the Megalania, those little lizards that sit up there and just look at you, and you know they're judging you. Yeah. They're judging just how juicy your leg's gonna um, taste when you walk underneath it. And they can sink their little rabid mouth bits on there. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this, but hey. Yeah, um, yeah, we're talking about those dudes. Now, um, uh, Megalania are actually, they're, they're pretty good. Um, now, they... When it comes around time to uh, getting taming these things, they're not easy tames. They're not low-level tames. Matter of fact, they take the highest tier of kibble that you can get if kibble were ever to be the highest. Actually, there is a highest tier. They take the highest tier of kibble. So, yeah, they take um, the extraordinary kibble. They also take mutton, but they're, since they're kind of a longer tame, I'm not sure if mutton's a really good way of going about it because a lot of times the mutton will spoil, so you have to go back and go do another trip to get the mutton because these little things eat slow. They also take a lot of narcotics or biotoxin, um, but also since the saddle on these things... Here, let's take a look. All right, the saddle on these things, Megalania... Uh, it's level 73 on these little suckers. I mean, it's an easy enough craft once you get the resources. Just 215 fiber, 315 hide, 45 metal ingots. It's super easy to craft it, but it's level 73. And it takes 75 um, anger and points. So hopefully this video decide, or helps you make the decision if you want to tame one of these guys to begin with. Because um, high level ones of these guys, they can be pretty decent, but they're never going to be a Thylacolio, just so you know. But they can climb in ways. I mean, you ever thought a Thylacolio was good at climbing? <laughs> they got nothing on a Megalania, trust me. Megalania will climb up, down, inside, out, upside down, all sorts of round. Plus, you can whip out the, your uh, long neck on the back of it while you're hanging upside down, sniping your friends. Trust me, it's fun. All right, but it's, uh, that point aside, we're going to discuss, well, let's just learn that now. We're going to discuss how to find them, how to tame them, how to get them um, in to be your buddy. And yeah, I mean, I would say if these guys were a lower level tame, then if you could get one early on, they'd be good um, to level up with. But since they're such a high level tame, you really that's that's really not an option with these guys. They are, yeah, they're they're getting close to the end game. They're level seventy three, so yeah, they're pretty good. Just be careful when you go in looking for these guys because uh, they can bite you. They can give you rabies. And it can be all sorts of nastiness from there. So if you're going out to tame them, there's a couple things you want on the shopping list. One, uh, since you're already level 73, yeah, you're going to need trank darts and you're going to need a long neck. Put away that crossbow for a little bit. You don't need it, all right? No crossbow on these guys. Now, crossbow, you can do it with a crossbow, but crossbow um, generally um, tends to do a lot more damage than a long neck, so yeah, just leave that thing at home for now. Um, bring the long neck. Now, also... Uh, when uh, we're going out to get these guys, you want some way of healing. Now, you want either medical brews or you want uh, uh, some food um, that you can use to heal with. Me, I prefer to use um, oh, uh, my own cakes and uh, special brews that heal me as uh, I'm doing things. Now, I'm also going to go get some uh, medical brews just in case because rabies, <laughs> that stuff will make you have a bad day right quick. Now, um, when you're going out to find these guys, um, there's a couple different things. One, I would recommend bringing your own little parry. A parasaur of some sort and also some rare flowers. Now, rare flowers are for um, the people that just want to go in guns a-blazing. Where is my There is my ladder. Um, the the um, rare flowers are for people that just want to go in guns blazing and not have to worry about, you know, the problems that stem after, you know, all the bad stuff comes to each face. Yes. Um, but the parry is for people who want to use a more strategic approach and find out just exactly where these things are. Now, that was just all just 
Yeah, you're fine. All right. So, uh, yeah, let me go get the rest of the stuff, and then we are going to head out, because there's a couple caves here on the island. Now, if you're on certain maps, there's um, some places where these guys are just roaming out in the open. If you're on um, Extinction, they're just kind of just roaming out in the open in some places. If you're on Ragnarok, um, they're just right over on the beach, right over by the highlands. And they're really, really easy to find, and they're everywhere there. But if you're on places like Scorched Earth or the island... They're a little bit harder to get, and since everybody has the island, I'm going to make sure we do this on the island. If you're on Ragnarok, um, yeah, you already know where to go find these guys. These are the little annoying dudes on the beach um, that come up and try to bite you while you're busy harvesting your whales. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, there's a couple different caves that you can find these guys. The one that I'm first looking at right now, this one is way down here at the very bottom. Matter of fact, let me get outside here really quick. To where I can show you the easiest, or I can actually show you, so where you can actually see. Right, right down here. Now this one right here, this is the first cave that I would actually recommend looking because it's the easiest cave. There's a couple other caves where these guys can be, but sometimes they're not in um, one of these caves. Sometimes you just kind of have to clear out the cave and then come back later and hopefully there's one in it. Um, this one right here is the uh, first um, cave that you will, I recommend people go into and because it's the easiest so yeah um but yeah when you get down in here there's a spot where they can just be kind of just hanging out on the ceiling all right now we just pass the threshold the cave is loading all right so now we come down in here and this spot right here there's generally not anything but once we go around this corner there can be a chance to have one we also have to keep an ear out for uh, other big bad things. You know what? Why am I doing this? Let's just, uh... I mean, we have a Thylacolio. Let's use said Thylacolio. All right. So if we have a Thylacolio... Now, one of the easiest ways of actually getting down inside of here... Or being able to find one is you come down in like this. And if there is one close... And you have a Thylacolio... Let me show you. You can just say bonsai. And then see if anything comes and gets you. And because the rare flower will make everything around you... Yep, there's one right there. Alright, now... Since we have our Thylacolio, we can just let the Thylacolio tank it while we knock it out. And that's the best uh, um, method of doing it. Now, you can uh, bully these guys, but I, it, it's really not too um, worth it. Just make sure that you are just staying on it. And, yeah. And this white damage that you see, that's from the rabies. That's what these guys do. They uh, give things rabies. It's pretty bad. All right. All right. And we uh, tamed them in a good enough spot so where... We're way up here. All right, now his torpor is going to be going down wicked fast, and I left all of my biotoxin out on my wyvern. Give me one sec, I'll be right back, because we're going to tame this dude. Yeah, we're totally going to tame this dude, and uh, we're going to ride around Ottoman, and then I'm going to show you a few of the things this guy can do. It's pretty dang cool. Okay, apparently the other one disappeared while I was busy um, going up and getting my uh stuff which sometimes happens when you leave caves with things knocked out but thankfully there was another one uh this one's a little bit higher level oh hey and you're out all right and we're a little bit deeper in the cave this time i'm sorry i i realized that was really hard to see Oh, no. Go away. Aiming inside caves, it can be a bit of a pain. So just keep an eye out for everything. But yeah, with these guys, I would recommend 
since their torpor goes down so dang fast, uh, just use biotoxin with them. All right. Now here, I mean, see, one, two biotoxin just should uh, toss it up. All right. Now uh, with the uh, um, kibble, now they're gonna take a lot of kibble, and their food goes down wicked slow. And each one of these kibble takes up 120 food. Make sure you're aware of that, because you're going to be in it for the long haul if you come in here and you try to tame one of these things. So just be aware of that. Yeah. Now, also, another way of finding these guys, and this is why I actually brought this dude, is if you uh, want the easiest way of finding one of these guys, just throw out your parry and then turn it on. Um, alert settings, enable turret mode. And he'll point out if there's any nearby. Now, you can actually take these guys and drive them into the cave and see, look at that. The entire cave is illuminated. Yeah. Parries are amazing inside caves if you need to find something. Yeah. It, it, it's pretty impressive. All right. Or you could just use the rare flower method. But just be aware. All those little red dots you just saw, if we were to use a uh, rare flower, um, yeah, they'd be all in our face. Yeah. All right. See, look. His torpor's already going back down after I gave him two biotoxin already. So I'm just going to let his torpor go down to about maybe 2,000. Give him probably about 20 biotoxin and just let the dude sleep for a while. So hey, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, and this one is up. So now we're, what we're going to do, uh, the easiest way to get um, this dude out of here. Just take, throw him in a cryo orb if you have one. And then we can get our butt out of here. Now, if you were to take one of those guys and try to use it as your um, your caving mount, it is possible to do it. Matter of fact, they do make really good caving mounts, but you kind of have to have one with amazing... St oh, we can't get back. Oh, there we go. Uh, you have to have one with some pretty impressive stats um, in order to do that. Because these things, they can have problems with I can actually get all the way out of here with the file of polio. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Yeah. All right. Um they can have uh problems with their um low me melee damage getting in the way of everything. Uh let's uh you know what? Let's this actually seems like a really good spot to showcase what these guys can do. Because with these guys and I actually brought the saddle that I made up earlier right there. Bam. They can just climb. One. Ah, there it is. Right up the wall. All you do is right click and they go right up the wall. Just as good as a rock drake. Nothing else in the game climbs just as effective as these guys. Matter of fact, I think they might actually be a little bit easier to maneuver on the rocks than a rock drake. But you have to be kind of... You kind of have to teach yourself how to do it. It's 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 pretty effective. It's really good. Now, how you get at, in and out of the climbing stance. See that little uh, paw print up the top right? I you use right click, and it goes away. All right, now the left click is just the regular attack. Uh, they don't have any sort of C attack, anything like that. Um, on controller, I believe that uh, the right click thing, it's uh, jump. I believe that's it. But yeah, um, these guys, they make really, really, really effective uh, climbers. Here, let me show you. Hold on, let's get out this. Because you can fully ride around on it while having your weapon out. Which makes these guys wicked effective. Alright, so say we can climb in like this. And I've got the torch out here for a reason. Sorry, Kopi, I'm coming by you. All right, you can go inside the cave, and then watch this. They're one of the only mounts. Them and Rock Drakes are the only ones that can do this. It is wicked impressive. It is so cool. And then up here, you can even just whip out your shotgun. I mean, you can't see anything right now, but still. Yeah. And you can kind of lay in wait and ambush things. It's, it, it, it's pretty cool. All right. There we go. Now I can actually see again. All right, let's get our butt out of here. Now, like I was saying earlier, um, these guys... Can I... Uh, there we go. Uh, these guys, they 
you might be tempted to take these guys into the cave, but like I was saying earlier, unless you have one that just has absolutely amazing stats, um, like say if you breed these, kind of super breed them kind of thing, and then you bring them in here, I wouldn't do it. I, I normally wouldn't do it just because um, it, bats are a thing. I mean, yeah, onic are a thing. If you get inside one of these caves and you get into a bad situation, the onic will just waste you. And, yeah. I mean, but compared with a really good shotgun, these things are rather impressive. Um, yeah, you can get into just about anything. All right, so now back to... Oh, hold on. All right, let me see. Can I do this? Uh... That's how you do it. Okay, so that we've got. Okay, now that the Raptor Menace has left us. All right, uh, now let's see if we can do this again. All right, so M. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got this cave down here. There's another cave right up here, just straight north of here. There's a cave, I believe it's right there, where sometimes these can be in there. Ned, just land, all right, dude? All right, and then also right up here on this little bit, there's um, the cave up here that I call the Chitin Cave, where you can find these guys as well sometimes. Um, not all the times, um, but up here on Carno Island. Um, the cave inside Carno Island, that's actually where I have been able to find the highest level ones. See, this cave down here, and for some reason, it just seems to favor the lower level ones, and I'm kind of uh, thankful that I was able to find a 110 inside of here, but... Up here at Carno Island, I found uh, um, 150s, 145s, 135s. Uh, pretty common up there. Um, it just seems like this cave up here tends to favor a little bit higher level ones. Sometimes I've gotten unlucky. Sometimes I've gotten really lucky. All just depends. And those are the uh, four caves that I have generally found these things in, if you're looking. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And then now let's go see just how much damage these things do on a bite. It's not that impressive. 21. Not impressive at all. Yeah. But if you get them high enough level, I'm sure you can probably get that up to around 100 or so. It's still not a lot. But, yeah. Alright, anyway, I hope this video helped you out in uh, your decision on whether you want a Megalania. I hope it helped you out on uh, taming them and then getting the settle and everything like that for them. I mean, they are pretty fun mounts. Um... But for the most part, if you're wanting something that can be beefy and tanky and stuff like that, look elsewhere. If you're wanting something that can go anywhere, these are them. All right, so hey, uh, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. Hey, one last thing I forgot to mention. If you need a lot of the Megalania toxin, uh, you know what I mean. The boss fights, the babies have megalania toxin in them. If you unclaim them, you can get some. That's a, that's a little trick.